Hello, this is Will from RogueDatabase.net. Tonight I will be reviewing Zone Alarm Extreme Security 2010. I was requested to do this ages ago, and I'm sorry I couldn't get to this sooner. So, Zone Alarm Extreme Security is somewhat of a rebranded Kaspersky. It uses the Kaspersky engine. Uh, let's take a look at some of the features here. Um, it's currently eighty dollars uh, as a retail price so it's expensive uh, it has advanced download protection so it will analyze the downloads in three unique ways before they can affect your PC it has virtual browsing which is sandboxing it has a firewall an OS firewall which is different than a firewall and this is like a hips uh, a unified scan engine is uh, Basically, they're saying it detects spyware as long as, along with viruses instead of a separate anti-spyware and antivirus component. Uh, free credit bureau monitoring. Uh, that's fine. Private browsing. Uh, Anti-phishing. Online backup. So it'll check for key loggers. It can tune up the computer. It has a two-way firewall. It has been parental controls, and anti-spam. So, if we look at the benefits, the unified scan engine, uh, fastest updating signature list, they claim, uh, two-way firewall, um, so they tell you about how antivirus aren't 100% effective, M additional layers, uh, they'll tell you about different types of uh, protection they have, virtual browsing, uh, so that'll protect you. It's a sandbox again. And then computer tune-up, uh, registry repair, and defragmentation, disk defragmentation, temp file cleaner, low resource use. Uh, that's fine, but as far as I'm concerned, F-Secure has the highest resource use. I mean, Zone Alarm has the highest resource use of any product of this type. Let's take a look at the system requirements. For Windows 7, you need 2 gigabytes of RAM, or a 2 gigahertz or faster processor, or 250 megabytes of hard disk space, one of the biggest suites. Um, uh, again, for Vista, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and for XP, 1 gigabyte of RAM, which is still massive. So I'm going to give this a thumbs down in terms of resource usage. And I was going to test this on my previous computer, but I didn't have the power to assign my VM one gigabyte of RAM, let alone two. Now I do, so I can test this. Um, so we have, they compare it to Norton products and McAfee products, and of course it wins because it's full and it's bloated, I'll use that word. Uh, but you get the idea. And we will see how it does. Alright, so hello everybody. We're going to start installing Zone Alarm Extreme Security here. And the installer for this is 119 megabytes. So it's pretty big. Not too big. Uh, but it's large. And they advertise this as easy to use and we will find that out I'm gonna finish installing this and I will be right back when this is done because this is gonna take a while seeing the size of this okay so you get this screen and it asks you to select your configuration I am going to say we're going to do a custom installation to see what we're getting at here so you can change all these at the control panel. Um, I'm going to leave this alone because I don't want it to be too noisy. We're going to say that's good. Uh, that's good. And we'll cancel the scan. And now we will restart the computer. So I'll be right. Alright, so it loads up. It asks you if you want to continue the trial or buy now. We're going to trial this because we're merely testing it. So, uh, okay, it opens for me. Uh, opens a lot. We're going to say, because it's my home network, we're going to say, uh, 
trusted zone. And so this is the interface here. You have firewall security, antivirus, browser security. Uh, let's take a look here at the firewall since that seems to be the first thing. Uh, adjust firewall. Trusted zone. This is fine. Nothing I need to configure there. Zones expert. Don't need to configure any of that. Uh, program control. We're going to put this on max to see what it's like, because we're what we want to see what we can do with this. Uh, antivirus, that's fine. Advanced options. Let's see. All right. Parental controls. We're going to skip that. Browser security. Force field is on. Settings. Let's see. We're fine there. And we'll enable virtualization. This will mean that the browsers will be sandboxed. And then I can clear virtual data whenever I need to. That's the coolest part here. And then that's good. Uh, identity protection will leave off. And we're all set here. So if we go back here... And let's take a look at PC tune-up. Let's just see. All right. And so it also comes up with something that tells you status and everything here. So you need to activate to use the PC tune-up, which is fine. Uh, all right. So let's take a look at some other things here quickly. If we open a task manager, we will take a look at what this is using in terms of RAM. So we have force field using 15K. If we close my browser, force field doesn't use any much power at all. Um, I am trying to think. I believe this is zone alarms. And I believe this is zone alarms. This is zone alarms. Um, this is definitely zone alarm, and that's zone alarm. Not too many processes right now, from what I see. Uh, it added four processes to the system from the baseline. And this will tell me traffic here, too, which is good. Um, so, ultimately, it's not like I consider it light. It's definitely using some good... Some good, um... Power, in terms of RAM. And it does need a lot of resources. And, uh... So that's kind of a downside to something like this. But we're gonna see how it does in terms of protection, and see how that fares. Um... It also has a gaming mode, so if you set it to gaming mode, it won't give you any pop-ups. So if you're gaming, that's an upside. Um, it's a relatively powerful suite, I would say, but it needs a little work RAM-wise.